Hi guys, so last time you saw us start work on the Baru underneath the waterline. This episode we carry on working uh, on the hull itself and also below the waterline on the prop, on the flexifold prop. We wanna chase the night. So we're on day three, uh, the weather is uh, playing tricks with us, uh, we shouldn't have had rain today but woke up this morning and uh, the forecast has changed again uh, and we've got rain but it's not stopped us. Um, Adrian's now gone home, uh, he left, uh, well he's just left, uh, so we've done a bit of work this morning. Um, first of all I've filled the little bits of damage that was on the rudder and it, the rudder was actually in very good condition after all the scares. Um, there was a crack through the fiberglass which wasn't that deep. Uh, I've ground back and I've ground back into the core a bit which is good uh, and uh, now just filled with thickened epoxy so that's got peel ply on. A little bit on the skeg that just it cut in and it was like it could be a leak path uh, to the car uh, developing. So I've ground that back and filled that with thick epoxy on this side and I've done the same on down here on the skeg on that side. This side of the rudder had no problem whatsoever so that's now been painted in painted the sail drive with Interlux 33 to the keel. Uh, Adrian uh, cut away the seal at the top, um, got back to where it was sealed in uh, the seal was good and also found a lot of leak areas on that seal and so that's now been uh, resealed up with uh, Sikaflex 291i. Ooh, that's expensive stuff, um, but we needed it. So we've done all that, done both sides there. So this is the start of day four. Uh, I'll just take the peel ply off. There we go. Ah, we've got a bit of a hole there which needs to be filled. Thought I might have something. Sand those down and just uh, fill that last little bit around here. Yeah. Should be fine on there. So, plan today is sand those bits, give the transom another going over. There's some bits that just uh, need tidying up uh, and get prepped for paint. So, we can't paint today, it's going to rain later. Um, but uh, it looks like Friday, Saturday, Sunday should be good so we can get on and get the hull painted. Um, and I think, apart from a couple of patches on the hull that I can see already, um, we're just about ready up there. It's about set to go, so uh, another one or two touch ups on the hull. I'm working on my own now, Adrian's gone back home. Uh, Done it without him. Uh, we worked uh, like uh, Trojans uh, for two days, two and a half days to get it to, to this level. <laughs> Okay, so okay, 
So we're going to change the anode there and this anode here. I know this is only part warm, but we may as well change it because we have to take it off and that one's loose and not doing anything. So I've got two brand new anodes um, and to get to that one we have to take the prop apart. So this is a flexifold prop. Alan Somebody at some time must have lost the bolts from here because there's three different ones. This one is Phillips. This one's a button head and the other one was a cap head. Uh, so we've got three different heads. Cover plate off. In the end of the, the shaft, there's uh, a 13mm uh, set bolt, machine bolt that's tabbed, and behind that is the bigger retaining bolt, which I think is 25 AF, but we'll check that. So they're the next things to take off. So we just have to tap back the tabbing. Take the lock bolt off. Uh, yeah, that's 13 AF. This is the hard bit because you've already taken off on it. That's it. And it's 22, it's 22 mil AF is that? So let's get a bit of a blade in. That's it. That's the way. So these flexifold props are quite easy to disassemble. That's the retaining nut, that's off. So that's a big bronze retaining nut. Um, that should just pull off. So that's away. Now, we also have a spacing collar. And that's it, and that's the anode off. And so we've got a bit of a problem. The, this anode, new anode, is just a couple of millimetres.
tightened down. taking a couple of mil off and that's all it was uh, but it was binding now that we know that the rod was tight so now we can start putting it back together again take two so let's put a bit of more oops, red locker on here Making sure that the blades are back, that everything's clean.
Hold on. 